Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon, Hobbytown, Hobbyplex, and we have ch something truly special here. This is the Axial SCX-10-3 Ford Bronco. Um, there are some changes from uh, the Gladiator Rubicon version uh, to this one that we definitely want to go through and show you, but we also just want to check out the truck because it's really cool. Um, got a special place in my heart for the older Broncos, so uh, yeah, let's just get to it and uh, see what it's all about. All right guys, so here we go. So this is, uh, notice how they didn't put the year on the box. And I, I, I did some investigating on it and it kind of matches what I think is kind of that mid 70s uh, Ford Bronco, not so much the late 60s Ford Bronco. So um, even though they don't have a year on it, I think that's what they were going for here. Um, what really stands out and makes this different uh, right away from the older ones, not the older ones, the Gladiator and the Rubicon is they've done even more with the interior. So you have a three-dimensional interior now ready for dudes, right? Like a, like a He-Man or something. They've got shifter knobs, um, you know, probably four-wheel drive knobs, whatever they are. You got a dash, a really nice steering wheel, but then also you got pedals, man. You got a gas pedal and a brake pedal and a clutch. And uh, they just took what made uh, the, 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 uh, the Rubicon and the Gladiator so special and they just improved upon that. You got your cage here, windshield wipers, hood scoop. The bumpers match the body really, really well. Um, they are plastic bumpers, but you're gonna get that with the ready to run. The lights are fantastic. I love the fact that it's got the running lights. Um, that is just something, uh, just we're getting so much more better uh, with our scale appearance on these new cars. You got the spare tire, even the spare tire has the knockoff as all, all four wheels do. Um, these are three piece uh, beadlock wheels as well with these Falcon Wild Peak tires. They are 4.7s, so they're uh, just a regular everyday nice big tire. Um, when I first saw this and was told we were getting one of these um, a little bit early to, to kind of look at, go over and play with a little bit, I thought for sure this was gonna be a shorter wheelbase, but it really isn't. It's a 12.3, so it's not, um, it's not as long as say the Gladiator but it is still uh, a regular 12-3 wheelbase. And then one more thing on the, on the uh, top here. Check this out. Do the doors open. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's super cool. So you can even take them off if you wanted to. Um, but that is just something really cool. It's just held in by a tiny little body clip. Uh, okay, let's check it out underneath. So pretty standard stuff, except that now instead of your AR45 portal axles, you have AR45 straight axles. These are basically the axial, the, the axles that would come in the kit in case you wanted to take your, your Jeeps back to a regular straight axle. Um, they are now stock on this car. Um, you can see the metal links here uh, all the way around, which is really nice. They're nice and beefy. You do have your standard um, plastic drive shafts, but to be honest with you, I've never broken one and I have several, several of these. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out was that you do have now a metal pan hard mount. So that's a little different from the old one. Um, I, I have yet to have a problem with my, uh, Jeep's pan hard mount, but evidently they felt like that was something that they needed to improve upon. And, uh, so it is on there. Let's take the body off real quick. We're going to shut these lights off. So uh, you have your fender, fender wells here that are ready to go with uh, rock lights. Um, so you wanna put them on there, that always looks really cool. Uh, two different battery positions, shorty pack or the uh, regular size battery pack. You do have your alternate body mounts in case you ever wanted to take this one off and put something else on there. Um, you got your fake engine, 5.0. It covers up your servo and your motor. And uh, if you're into the scale crawling stuff, this is worth quite a bit of scale points. Just this overall truck probably would max out your scale points without doing any extra work, which is nice. Um, your regular 40 amp receiver and uh, speed controller in one here from Spectrum. And uh, you know, we were able to test this truck and I can tell you that it has plenty of drag brake already built into it. It does come with the dig uh, servo already uh, set up. So it's, it comes with the dig setup ready to go. 
If you wanted to do the two-speed, now you just have to get another one of these little guys, the uh, S SX107, and put it in place, and with the hardware that they give you in the in the kit, get it out there. So, uh, transfer case, transmission, it's all there, of course. You got your standard metal axial shocks, which I actually have on a few of my different ones that aren't necessarily um, axial cars because they're pretty smooth, consistent shocks. Uh, I love the fact that it comes with a license plate and uh, that's worth the scale point. <laughs> so um, yeah, there you go. We'll check out the radio here real fast. So uh, you got just a regular everyday DX3, which comes pretty much with all the Horizon Hobby branded kind of higher end um, vehicles. The really cool thing is this guy. So you got this little thumb, this little thumb nub, I guess you could call it right there. And so that means that you could have like this and you could steer all with one hand. And then in this hand, you have something say like, like a GoPro or a camera or a tasty beverage of some sort right here. So this, and then over here you have something like this and you can do two at once. How great is that, right? Uh, so yeah, so uh, it does have the standard 50, 75, 100% limit on it. I don't know why anybody would want to run a crawler on anything less than that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's there. So pretty much standard DX3. It can run on a two cell or a three cell. Most of us who are crawling run on three cell, so you have the power, but uh, you don't necessarily have to. And uh, I think that about covers it, you guys. Um, let us move on, check out all the footage we got from our, uh, our test session and uh, see how it goes.
All right, let me try. <clears throat> and then I had fast food, so now I got like fast food throat. Mm. So I sound all grovelly. Mm. All right, here we go. <clears throat> 